fun, my name is Yujun, and this is Willem, and today we'll be talking about convex, non-convex, and concave preferences. So, so to start off, convex preferences are two goods uh, where the consumer would prefer to have a combination or an average rather than an extreme of the two goods. An example of convex preferences are pants and shorts. So here, uh, it is safe to assume that most consumers would prefer to have a combination of pants and shorts rather than an extreme of the two, that is why the consumer would prefer to have the weighted average of the two more extremes rather than being on the uh, edges of the uh, the uh, indifference curve. So for uh, and then moving on to non-convex preferences, uh, here uh, these are two goods where the consumer uh, would like to, would would, uh, would prefer having a little bit more uh, of one good than the other and vice versa, but does not want equal amounts of the two goods. An example of non-convex preferences are peanuts and orange juice. Uh, so here, the consumer would like to have a little bit more peanuts and less of orange juice and vice versa, and rather than having a weighted average of the two. And that is why the, um, the consumer would prefer to have the more, a little bit more of the extremes rather than having an average of the two. And moving on to concave preferences. Uh, and, and concave preferences are two goods where the consumer would like to have an average of the, uh, sorry, excuse me, an extreme of the two rather than having an average or the combination of the, of the, of the goods. An example of concave preferences are milk and beer, where the consumer would like to have an extreme of the one rather than having a combination of the two. Uh, and that is why the consumer would prefer to have those on the edges rather than the weighted average. So a good way to talk about a convex curve is to realize that all the weighted averages are inside the indifference curve. So what is a weighted average? A weighted average is given by this formula here for any arbitrary weight t between 0 and 1. This means that any sort of more extreme value of, uh, of pants or shorts uh, gives a weighted average that is preferred to those values. Any point outside this indifference curve is more preferable by monotonicity, gives us higher amount of utility. Whereas any point inside, we generally don't want to con uh, consume it because we get less utility from it. So as you can see, because every weighted average is outside this indifference curve, we always want to consume the weighted average. Thus, is what Eugene was saying, we want more of a balance of pants and shorts rather than one extreme or the other. Non-convex is a sort of mix, is, is a less extreme version of this in the sense that sometimes we want the weighted average. For example, if we had two points here and here, we want to consume the weighted average here. But also, we may not want to do that. So we may consume here, we may have these two goods, and the weighted average being in the middle inside the graph would be undesirable to us, as we would get less utility from that. So to put that in a sort of more contextual sense, we may want... Um, more peanuts and less OJ, which means we would operate on this outside the graph and this point here, or more OJ and less peanuts, which means we operate uh, outside here. The point of this is that sometimes we prefer the weighted average, sometimes we don't. The more extreme version of the non-convex is the concave preference, which means that any two points on this graph will always have a weighted average that is inside the graph. And by monotonicity, as we said before, any point inside the graph is less desirable than operating on the indifference curve. So what we want to do is not have the weighted average want to operate outside on the more extreme versions of uh, milk and beer. So we either want a lot of beer or a lot of milk, not a combination of both, because the weighted average is inside the curve. And so to finish, uh, one interesting stipulation that uh, comes with considering concave preferences is that when considering monthly consumption of uh, concave preferences, such as milk and beer, the graph of the monthly consumption actually comes out to look something like the convex preference. The reason behind that is that for half the month, let's say, the consumer likes to have an extreme of milk. And for the other half of the month, the consumer prefers having an extreme of beer. So if you look at it from a monthly standpoint, it is actually a very uh, average balance of milk and beer, therefore giving a more uh, balanced um, line when it comes to uh, the consumption of beer and milk on a monthly basis. There's one other thing that's worth mentioning. This is an example of a well-behaved indifference curve, whereas this is an example of a uh, non-well-behaved indifference curve. 